had already been on for at least, or was coming up to 20 years when Peter took it over. It was over 30 years when uh, Paul came on as the doctor. So the first question I, I wanted to come to you was, before you were the doctor, how much about the show did you know? How much of the show were you aware of? Were you fans? Did you hate it? How did it go? <laughs> and we'll start with five. Um, I, well, I was the first doctor, I think, I think who, who, who played the doctor, who actually grew up, grew up watching the show. So I remember the very first episode, and um, remember it being repeated the following week because of the, uh, uh, the Kennedy assassination the day before it started. And so, yeah, I have very, very vivid memories of, um, of Doctor Who, and it was a very uh, special moment, strange moment, really, when I was actually off at the park. As an, as an actor, you know, when you leave drama school, you think, oh, I'd love to get a pie in Doctor Who. But actually, then you find yourself actually being offered the Doctor, and it's very bizarre. But yeah, no, I knew all about the series. I loved it. Yep, me too. I was a <laughs> I was a law student in London. I had a different life before I. So I had, I wasn't even thinking of being an actor at that. Well, I had thought of it, but my father had said no. So I was a law student. What a wise man. Yes. <laughs> and I came back to my flat in London. And my fellow flatmates were sitting in front of the television, and the the first theme tune ever heard came on the screen. And I was leaning on the banisters, on the return banisters, at the bottom of the stairs, and I found I was still there. Half an hour later, I hadn't moved. I hung my coat over, and I just leaned and watched this program. Now, looking back now, you all say, but how could you believe they were that flickering images and shaking sets? But that was state of the art then. <laughs> Doctor Who was really ahead of its time in 1963. And uh, I, was, I was riveted. And whenever I could, I watched it. I mean, unfortunately, we didn't have VCRs then. So quite soon afterwards, I did become an actor. So one tends to work on Saturdays in the theater. So I missed an awful lot of it. But then as soon as VCRs were around, I used to record it and watch it. So I have been a loyal follower of the program. I lived in abject poverty in London. <laughs> in a shoebox on the M6? Yes. We didn't have a television. But a friend down the stairs did, and we used to meet Saturdays because we did the football pools, and we'd wait for the results. And suddenly this program came on afterwards, uh, called Doctor Who, Patrick Tratton. He was my first doctor, and I became addicted to it then. And watched it until about halfway through um, Tom Baker, and then I became an actor, and lost touch with it, as did Colin here, because of no means of recording. So when I came to do it, I'd forgotten all about it, really, and so didn't know much about it when I did it. So there. <laughs> you grown that beard so you could get into the hobby. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> who bitching? Talk with him. Who I bitching? think I've worked out why they've not been allowed on stage together in America for 25 years. <laughs> so, uh, like repelling magnets. <laughs> so Paul, um, obviously Sylvester um, I was saying is one and moving on to you yourself now. Well I'm not as old as these guys. <laughs> I mean, they're younger in spirit than I. You went to Hollywood for three weeks and came back for younger. <laughs> <laughs> for cash, too. It was for cash. Yeah. But, um, anyway, moving swiftly on. I watched it as a kid in the 60s, uh, when these guys were all old uh, law students and that. Um, I was transfixed. Uh, we had... We had what, three channels, there were three channels uh, in those days. Um, so we all became fans, and it was on at the time when we came home from school. So yeah, you know, we were hooked. But then, it disappeared. Yeah, I killed it off. He killed it off. <laughs> and by the time it was rumored, and then, you know, it was gonna make a comeback, and then the phone rang, and I was off at the gig. I thought it was a joke. But why, you know, why would they resuscitate a dead thing? Um, but it... There's a way to talk about You're it. having way too much fun over there. <laughs> at the necro corner over there. Um, 
But lo and behold, that's exactly what happened. Um, and that's why we're all sitting here today, talking garbage. <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously all of you had a knowledge of Doctor Who. And